Over the course of the past 100 years, we've had a wide array of paradigm-shifting scientific discoveries, many of which shake the foundations of how we see reality, and some of which even sound like they are science fiction. We know that matter is 99% empty space, and that quantum particles are zero-dimensional points. We can verify that time travel into the future is possible at high speeds. We have quantum particles that can teleport through impenetrable walls, be in two places at the same time, and change their behavior when there is a conscious observer. Quantum mechanics is much more than theories and interpretations. It provides undeniable and mathematical proof that everything we know and experience works in ways that are fundamentally surreal. And it isn't the only field in science that is making us think about our sense of reality. Neuroscience studies the nervous system, and it has given us many insights about what is still the most profound mystery in biology. Consciousness. The definition proposed in 2012 is that it is the sum of the electrical discharges occurring throughout the nervous system. When this activity becomes unusual due to, for example, brain injury, we experience things very differently. One rare disorder that can occur in association with migraine attacks and diabetes is called the Capgras delusion, which causes patients to believe that close friends and relatives are actually imposters. Even when patients who suffer this delusion seem to retain all their intellectual abilities, they will still insist and create elaborate rationalizations to explain how their family and friends have been replaced by frauds. Other disorders can cause patients to lose the ability to describe or perceive the right half of people's faces, but they will not be aware that they have this condition and instead come up with inaccurate descriptions that they believe to be correct. We traditionally and intuitively assume that our capacity for mathematical and rational thinking gives us the ability to make objective distinctions. And while it is certainly responsible for our incredible spectrum of intellectual and scientific progress, the same intellect that can lead us to groundbreaking discoveries can just as well get us caught in delusions. The underlying patterns of our consciousness define our entire perception of reality. It also seems that our consciousness works more like a digital clock than an analog one. Rather than a constant flow of experience, our experiences could be broken up in intervals or time quanta of 0.042 seconds, each of which make up one moment of consciousness. This is called quantization. It means that something can be broken up in small discrete building blocks. Each state of consciousness consists of a certain amount of information and can theoretically be stored on, for example, a hard drive. While not currently within reach, we are seeing tremendous progress in research that is aimed at simulating the brain. Some of the most reality-shattering discoveries of the past century haven't even been absorbed in mainstream culture yet. And what we have found in only the past decades is starting to point to an understanding of consciousness that will change the way we look at life and death. In 2007, stem cell pioneer Robert Lanza proposed that time and space and even our entire reality are not what we think they are. Criticized for being incomplete, but at the same time recognized as scientifically sound and potentially revolutionary by scientists ranging from Nobel laureates in physiology to astrophysicists at NASA, the theory of biocentrism describes reality as a process that fundamentally involves our consciousness. Lanza's scientific theory explains how without consciousness, all matter dwells in an undetermined state of probability. Time has no real existence, and space is just a concept we use to make sense of things. If we look towards neuroscience and quantum mechanics to further fill in the blanks and shortcomings of biocentrism, all that we are left with are quantized states of consciousness. Reality how we know it does not exist, and if it had any sort of existence that we could visualize, it would look something like this. An endless sea of static, of information in which all probabilities exist. 
Imagining all these probabilities within a zero-dimensional space without time is not easy, but it is perhaps as close as we'll ever come to imagining what reality really is. Every possible chunk of information exists, including the ones that perfectly describe the moments of consciousness that we experience from one moment to the next. In quantum mechanics, we have had theories of a holographic universe where the entire universe could be seen as a two-dimensional structure containing all the information that we seem to perceive in three dimensions. In a new model, all of existence is encoded in quantized moments of consciousness that contain all of our experiences. Every moment of experience is a reality in itself, and we experience time as obvious and straightforward. But with each moment of consciousness containing a different set of memories and experiences, it wouldn't matter if our timeline was completely scrambled. Tomorrow could happen before yesterday. Our memories are dependent on the information encoded within each moment of consciousness and can only tell us something about the reality we experience right now. Any perception of time or continuity is actually an illusion. This is one of the reasons why Robert Lanza's recent theory was considered to be a wake-up call by NASA's astrophysicist David Thompson. When we look at the Big Bang or when we observe how quantum particles jump back and forth in time. We have the arrogance of assuming that time simply moves forward in a straight line, and we then go on to see these time anomalies as unusual and counterintuitive. But there is no indication that our perception and memories define the arrow of time. All of this seems to suggest that our reality would completely disintegrate, or at the very least, become highly inconsistent and random at any point. But the reason why we experience a rigid world with deeply structured laws of nature is because consistent patterns evolve according to mathematical principles. Since every possible pattern can exist within infinity, the only connection between two independent quantized moments of consciousness is the information that overlaps. Smaller or more compressed units are more common and the laws that we are subject to naturally emerge and bring about our consistent reality as it is the most probable one. Patterns can be found in any type of chaos, and since very complex structures are required for consciousness to exist, the reality that we experience evolves along the probable branches of its own specific pattern. If neural disorders such as Capra syndrome have taught us anything, it's that we have an incredible ability to rationalize the oddities in our reality. There is one claim, though, that becomes hard to refute. That the pattern of quantized moments of experience is inherently infinite. And statistically, an afterlife is inevitable.